All right, awesome, AM. Oh, nice, well, this is a good morning workout for you too. Awesome, well, thank you for being here, you guys. I'm glad the time works out. I know when it's like a 12 hour time difference, some people are tuning in way late. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Listen to your body though, okay? Unless you're a third shifter, then it makes sense, right? Pull those knees up. Hopefully you're doing this. I'm not just doing it for no reason. <laughs> Go ahead and join me, bring those knees up. Shoulders are dropped. Hands down, little squeeze, pulse as you do this movement, okay? Pull your abs in, straight up. So make sure the knees come up, belly button height if you can, and squeeze those shoulder blades. Pull those abs in, knees stay soft especially when you're standing on them. These are always soft, they're never locked out. So, momentum week, what does that mean? Moving fast, yes. Lighter weights, yes. Compound movements on Fridays though, because you're gonna get more bang for your buck. Oh man, Fridays are tough, but you're tougher because you're here, right? We've already decided to do this. All right, kick that butt, heel to the butt. Remember, this does not go with the music, sometimes it just happens to line up. If you come take my classes on Zoom or on my Patreon, obviously it all goes to the same beat, right? All right, give me a little bit of a squeeze. And we're just gonna pull back this way. So flex your arms as you do this. Pull those shoulder blades, squeeze, and make sure you're kicking that butt every single time if you can. Oh my gosh, Smarties! Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Hey babe, that's so cool that you can see that. I didn't realize you could see that when people subscribe, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully I keep these workouts fun, interesting. Oh yeah, go for it. Eddie's like, can I have the other half of your bar? I'm like, yeah. Those bars, baby. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Nice job. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks again, it means a lot. All right, give me a squat and a pull and a stand up. Here we go. Drop, pull, stand it up, open your chest. Down. Whoo. You might notice, even within the warm-up, maybe you're able to go a little bit further with your range of motion. Uh-oh. Yeah, if they want to get in here, they can. Go ahead. I'll probably throw an oinky out there for Harvey. But Batman can come join. Hi, buddy. Nice job. Keep going, guys. All right. Oh, keep going, keep going. I'm going to give the dog. You want an oinky? And Batman gets an oinky? All right. Put your bed back, Batman. Ready? Where's it at? Where's it at? I'm burying it. You gotta find it. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, he found it. I did not bury it enough. Good boy, Damien. Yeah, good boy. All right, take those legs wider. Turn it into a plie or sumo squat. So your toes and your knees point out. I'm just showing from the sides. So you can see the weight is in the heels. I can wiggle my toes. Abs are pulled in. Woo. Arms are working. Legs are working. Chest is lifted. <sighs> Continue to breathe. Nice job. Oh, thank you. Stream Labs, or Eddie, I should say. Yes, my entire outfit, I'm slowly replacing all of my outfits with first form material, clothing, whatever you want to call it. Because I love the way they feel. Seriously. Woo. They're smooth like butter. Girls and guys clothes. Incredible quality. I know some people are like, they're a little expensive. They're not as expensive as Lululemon. I will say that much. Whew, but you're gonna use it for a long time. Last one. Nice job. Whoo! All right, stand feet hip width apart, hip width apart, right leg back. And give me a chop, pull your abs in, and then come back to center. So lunge, chop, center, stand. Do it again, lunge, chop, Center, stand. Pull those abs in. Inhale here. You exhale on the twist. Whenever you make your waist smaller, as in you're crunching or you're twisting, try to think exhale on the hard part, okay? And then inhale on the recovery. And exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Give me a couple more. Two. Last one. Nice job, perfect. All right, just because I want you to get a really good warm up in the upper body too. This is gonna be five inch worms with hip flexor stretches, runner's lunges, all, all of it. Come to the back of your mat, fix my leggings. Trying to sell this outfit and here it is, not as cute. <laughs> Inhale it up, 
like you guys care. Exhale down, walk those hands out, pull your abs in. Now bring your right leg up towards your foot. If you struggle with this movement, drop to your knees and then take it as wide as you can and then you're gonna open up that way, okay? Otherwise you're driving that back leg straight. Come back to center, give me one down dog. Come back to center, other leg. Open the chest. Oh, thanks for joining Creative, have a good day. Take care, or thank you, oh sorry. Take care of Smart Fitness. Thank you for joining, and walk it all the way back up. Nice job, inhale up, exhale down, thank you. Gonna train with you next week, must go. Have a nice weekend, you too, buddy. Thanks for joining, right leg front. Open the chest, come back, give me one down dog, drive those heels back, knees soft. Come back to center, pull those abs in. Big step wide, open your chest, bring it back, core is tight, walk it all the way back. Inhale it up. I know this warm up's a little bit longer, but it's because I want you to be safe. We're gonna be moving quickly and using all of our muscle groups. Right leg front, open a little bit further. Come back to center, core tight, down dog. Push those hips back, knees drive down, knees soft, heels down. Come back to center, left leg brings it up. Runner's lunge, twist open with your left arm. Come back to center, pull those abs in, plank, and walk it all the way back. Hi, Batman, good boy. Okay, we're done, bye. Okay, I think I'm warmed up. Are you guys warmed up? I definitely am. I'm gonna turn this to the side because we will be using We will be using weights, obviously. We always use weights. But I wanna make sure you, you can see the movement. I think we're good, keep an eye on that. All right, you're gonna grab lighter weights. We're gonna do a lot of different types of movements. It's gonna be some swings, some squats, okay? Lighter weights. I'm going to do my nines, but I'm only gonna hold it in one weight, one hand, for the first move, okay? So, get ready. I'm just gonna set this up like I do. Alrighty, hold on a minute. Good time to grab your water, get your weights out, get your mat out if you have it. Already at the ready. Just do a little bit more stretching. Maybe if you're a little bit tight, sore, hold that down dog a little bit more. Whatever you need to do for you so that you feel like you are ready to go and not hurt yourself. Okay. We're gonna start in about one minute. Woo! I've got my clock here at the ready. Starting session. Starting session, one minute. I'm gonna take a couple chugs. I feel like I already need it. All right, what is it? We're gonna grab, we've got some regular squats. And what I want you to do here is a squat with an upright row, okay? So feet hip width apart. We're just gonna come down and then pull it up and squat into it, okay? So compound movement, something you can consistently do. Feet and nose, nose and toes, actually nose, toes, and knees, all point one direction. So from the side, looks like this. Push back in those heels, check it. Toes forward, knees forward, nose forward, down and up, pull those abs in. Notice how I almost fell back in my heels. That's how far I want you back, okay? All right, eight seconds. Ready? Three ish. <laughs> Shoulders back. Two and one. Here we go. D drop row. Pull those abs in. Remember, momentum weak. You can use a little bit of momentum here. Pushing through those heels. Woo! That's right. Your toes could point up in your shoes to really make sure the weight is rocked back into those heels, back in those hips. Core is engaged. If you have a mirror, use it. Make sure both arms come up at the same time. Again, could I use 15s or even 20 pounds with this? Sure, but not at this speed. This is momentum week. We are lifting lighter and doing more reps. Last week was volume week, which meant heavier weight, less reps. All right, Whew. got my heart rate up. Go ahead, keep it in your right arm. I'm gonna show you one, then join me. Right, elbow is up. You're gonna kick back, curl press. So it's a tricep kickback. Ready, from the side, looks like this. 
kick back, curl press. So land soft, it's a side lunge. Your right leg bends, your left leg has a soft bend. So it's straight here, and then when I stand on it, I bend it, okay? I wanna make sure I really focus on my form as I do this. Make sure the weight is in your right heel. Abs are pulled in, again from the side. It looks like that. Woo! Land soft. Nice job, you got this. I wasn't picking up that tricep, was I? <laughs> I'm gonna try to do one more with that tricep kickback. There it is. Nice! All right, other side. Same idea. Other arm, other leg. Three, two, one. Here we go. Swing through. Press up. Find your balance. Woo! Yeah, we're mixing a little bit of balance in there, aren't we? Working everything. Next week, though, we do slow down with our balance moves. So this isn't too hard when it comes to balance because you're only here for like one second, right? And I like my arm out just to make sure my shoulders stay square. My heart rate is getting up. How about you guys? Just gonna show you from the side again. Push back, curl press, elbow lift. And when in doubt, booty out, you know. Last one. Okay. Woo. If that was a good weight for you, keep it. If it was too heavy, Lighten it up. Too easy? Heavy, a little bit heavier. Ready? Squat, upright rows. Woo! Nice job. Remember, squat with, a, with an upright row. Notice how my knees are soft at the top. Working those shoulders, working those legs. Compound Friday. Woo! You're meant to feel like a struggle. Make sure your chin tucks slightly so when you go down, you're not cranking your neck to look up, okay? You're looking same distance from your chin to your chest the entire time. And I'm gonna check for my arms. Yep, I think I'm doing okay. If you have a mirror, use it. You wanna make sure your arms are at the same part, same height. All right, put it in your right arm. Ready? Side lunge. Keep a 90 degree bend right here, okay? That'll help. Ready, set, go. Kick back, come back to center, curl and press. When it goes 90 degrees, kick it back. Go at your own pace. Again, we're trying to maintain the same pace throughout the movement because we are utilizing that momentum. And again, making it different than our other workouts, right? Tricep. Kick back at the top of that movement. I'm sorry, bottom of the movement. Keeping that core tight. Weight, all the weight in your right leg. It's my left. So if you're mirroring me, it'd be your right. Woo, I'm gonna do one more. Woo, nice job. Switch that. Ah, starting to sweat. Starting to get real here. Bend it 90 degrees. Shoulders back and down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Kick back. Press it up. So what are we working here? Um, what are we not working here, right? Everything is working. Those glutes on your left leg, your core, because you've got to balance, and you've got to keep that back flat. Obviously, the shoulders, the biceps, and the triceps are getting a great well-rounded workout here. Woo! Oh my goodness. I'm just falling right into it. A little momentum into that fall. Nice job. I'm so proud of you. You guys, it's freaking Friday. You can push yourself, especially at the end of a week. Proving to yourself you are worthy to show up and try. Good news. Get a minute break. You need to stretch here, do it. You're nice and warmed up by now. You need to stretch a little longer. Do it. Whew. 
We're going to get some more movement soon. And we're really going to be working. We're going to be working out, y'all. We're going to be working it. Okay, momentum. What does that mean? We're going to be moving into the movement, moving into the movement with momentum, with speed, and with our light, light weights. Okay? So, whoo! So, we're going to keep this same hip width apart. We're going to stay with this, working deadlifts, shoulders back and down. The first two circuits will be upper or standing. The third circuit will be on the floor. Okay, just FYI. Okay, what I want you to do, you're going to go down, fly, stand it up like that. Okay? Now, if nines are too much, actually, if nines are too much, you can always actually go ahead and drop down to half that weight. Because we did flies yesterday. I want to show you a new move. This is what it looks like. Watch once, deadlift, but then you raise it up and then you stand up. Down, swing, drop. There it is. Now we're working a little bit differently. I'm glad I dropped to fours. So it's a deadlift, so booty out. Core is tight, back is flat. It's a good beat, so I'm gonna stick with this. Speed, down, up, stand tall, glute squeeze, down. Knees stay soft the entire time. Booty out, raise it up. Remember, your range of motion. If you start to feel it in your low back, I want you to stop in here, raise your arms. You don't even have to raise them as high. A little bit more shoulders than upper back. Otherwise, you're going down and really taking it up high. Last one. Woo! Nice job. All right. I'm going to actually stick with this weight, and here's why. I want you to go down, curl like this. It's a lot of reps. That's why you're going to do light weights. Here we go. Same leg, right leg. Woo! If you feel this in your knees, what I want you to do is tap back instead. So notice how it takes off the pressure. Otherwise, you're going forward. That momentum is really going to add in more resistance because you're falling into it. Woo! Keeping that core tight. Remember, 90-90, both knees and your elbows stay glued in. Squeeze. You might be like, really, Sarah? She's just lifting forward. But I'm going to be doing this again right after this with the other leg. So your biceps are going to burn out. Last one. Nice job. Shoulders back and down. Go to the other leg. Is your heart rate up? Mine is. If that was too easy, the second set you do this, you can always grab a little heavier. I might even do six. Ready? Set. Go. Down. Tap. Oh, it's a fast beat. I don't think I can maintain it. Just because I want to watch my form from the front. I want to show you this. There it is. Notice how the feet are they're still hip width apart, okay? Elbows glued in. Chest stays lifted. Shoulders over your hips from the side. Looks like that. Core is tucked tight and tailbone is tucked under just slightly. Okay, you're not here. You're here stabilizing every muscle group here. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Wow. Okay. All right. Holy mackerel. All right, I'm gonna stick with my fours actually, I decided. It's a lot of arms. Shake it out, walk it out. Whoo, deadlift with a front lateral raise. Ready, take it down. Deadlift, raise, stand it up, tall. Drop. Pull those abs in, directly from the side. Looks like that. Abs are in tight. Squeeze the glutes as you come up. Woo! Nice job, you guys. Oh my goodness. I've got a surprise sequence for the third circuit. Woo! You're gonna get ready to work that core and work those triceps even more. Ooh. Squeeze those glutes as you come up. Slow it down if you need to. Push back in those heels. Last one. Ah! Nice job. All right. I don't know about you, but I am freaking sweating. Holy sweat. Shoulders back and down. Ready? Feet hip width apart. Step forward lunge with the curl. Here we go. Curl. Come together. 
If you want to add on to those arms, you can always keep the range of motion smaller. Because if I was to come all the way down, that's a break. But if I want to keep the same weight but make it harder resistant, I'm going to work within a range of motion that keeps my biceps engaged the whole time. Nice job, land soft. Notice how I don't land with a, a, a straight leg, right? I land with a bent knee, so I fall into it. Woo! Keeping the core tight, pushing off that heel to come back to center. Last one. Ha! Good job, guys. Remember, this is your speed. Don't follow me. If you wanna go faster or slower, all that matters is that you maintain good form. That's all that matters. Shoulders back and down, ready, set, go. Front lunge for the curl. Tap, curl, tap. Elbows stay glued in. Woo! I to catch my balance here. Oh my goodness. Abs in tight. I think I have a hair on my elbow. It's driving me crazy on my leg, on my stomach. You can feel it. Woo! Nice job. Come on. Zombie form here. <laughs> That's okay. Do what you gotta do. Slow it down, creative. Do the tap back option if you need to. Woo! I know I'm slowing down. Wanna do one more? Oh! Dude! Good job. All right. Go ahead. I don't know where that hair is. Drive me crazy though. All right. We're gonna be on the floor. In one minute. Okay. I mentioned core. That's what we're gonna do, baby. All right. What it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have my four, one four or one nine. Okay. I'm gonna come down to the ground. Go ahead and join me when you're ready, because this is gonna get go into it fast. Do you remember last week we did those hip lifts and I could not feel my obliques for two days? <laughs> Guess what? I'm bringing it back. But this time, let me try it with my fours. I might just stick with my fours. I want you to go up and then hold it and go under slightly. Okay, that's what it looks like. A little bit of momentum. Squeeze 90 degrees with your arms though, okay? while I eat my hair. Otherwise, toe to heel, pull up. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my fours here. Ready? Lift, elbow 90 degrees, take it around, elbows in, elbow in, press, elbow in. Keep that core tight. You're lifting up again. If it's too much, drop to those knees and limit your range of motion. Maybe you're here. Maybe you don't, don't wanna lift up. This is a great shoulder recovery move. Just here and here. Okay, so if you have the range of motion and you feel like it's not hurting at that shoulder, you can add in here. Keeping that core nice and tight. Wow. Now when we switch sides, your other arm is really gonna feel it. Because this side, your right arm has to hold you up the whole time. Oh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> All right, shake it out, you need it. We're gonna go right to that other side. It's a quick transition. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Remember, 90, 90 with the bottom arm or bottom leg. 90 degrees with your arm. Lift and drop underneath. I can already tell I cannot go up on my toe with this one because my right arm is really feeling it. So I'm gonna stay down with it. Nice job, lift and lower. Pull those abs in. I'm not talking as much because I gotta breathe here. It is a challenge for me too. All right? If I don't challenge myself, I don't change myself. And just like life, what am I gonna do when it gets difficult? Right? How am I gonna face these challenges? I'm gonna show up and try? Or uh, am I gonna switch to a rest day after rest day after rest day? Right? All right, guys, this is a good one. Lay on your stomach. What I want you to do here. Opposite arm, opposite leg, nice and easy, okay? 
Couple options here. You can always just do lower back and glutes. All right. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give my arms a break. <laughs> and just drop your head. Woo! Squeeze the glutes. Tuck your tailbone under. So you're still squeezing the glutes. So instead of this, you're tucked underneath. I don't know if you can see that. But try to keep it tucked. This is not about the height of the leg. This is about you controlling what muscle groups you're working. I'm not hurting my low back by hyperextending. I'm really focusing on the glutes and the hamstrings. All right. Oh, pick it up, core tight. Hey, good news, I didn't give you any push-ups today. I did that on purpose. All right, I'm gonna stick with my fours. That was a good idea. Here we go. 90 degrees. You guys, we're almost done. Elbow, pull it up, come back down. If you struggle with this movement because of your shoulder from holding it here, what I want you to do is lift up or lift up both legs at an angle, okay? That is what you can do instead. I did want to show you that in case you're like, Sarah, I cannot lift a weight. I don't want to work my shoulders more than I have to. So there's always an option, okay? Because the movement is actually really working your obliques. So right here, the oblique facing the ground is working. If you were to lay down flat like I showed you just 10 seconds ago, you would actually be working your top oblique. Whew. Lift, lower, twist. Ah. Nice job. All right, let's take it over to the other side. Woo! Make sure that's out of the way. Ready? Elbow underneath. Again, it's the same idea. If you want to do it from here, you're just lifting up, still working your obliques. Otherwise, elbow underneath your shoulder. Lift up, pull your abs in. Raise it up. Swipe underneath. Woo! I don't know what is going on with my hair. There we go. Lift and drop. Elbow stays glued in. Protect your back, or protect your shoulder, I should say. Keeping that core engaged, pull those abs in. Woo! Guess what, after this move, you are done with the full body Friday workout. I am so proud of you. We did a lot of arms and legs and core. Woo! And stop right there. Okay, I lied, you had one more move. Lay it down on your belly. Oh, good job, you guys. All right, you know what to do. Drop your head all the way down, tuck your tailbone under slightly, okay? And lift up one leg at a time, one leg at a time. If you wanna make it harder, you keep both legs up and you just tap one toe at a time. Try to keep your elbows on the floor as you do this. Lots of glutes control. Lower back control, because I don't want you to hyperextend here. There's always options. Do that move we started with. Drop it down and just do one at a time and release. One at a time and release. Otherwise, you're really tucking that tailbone under, really driving your pubic bone into the floor. Should almost feel uncomfortable at this point. <laughs> I know it does for me. But that's how I'm able to ensure I don't hurt my low back. All right, drop it down. Good job, you guys. All right, pull your abs in, tuck your tailbone under. Push up, here we go. Lift, and drop it into a child's pose. Good job, you guys. Session complete, happy freaking Friday. So proud of you today. Friday is tough. If you're with Amy, she's probably gonna be joining me for Hit the Floor later. Dude, we're gonna feel it. I already picked out my HelloFresh meal for tonight. It's gonna be burger and fries. <laughs> I was like, this is what I need. I already know it. Especially after the strength training and then the cardio hit the floor. Oh man, I'm gonna need all those extra calories. And that is okay. All right, take those hands over to one side. Take your back arm on top of your hand and just drop your head. We're gonna feel that stretch through your side body, which we wanna stretch really well because we just worked obliques. Woo. If you don't feel that stretch, just take it a little bit further over. Mm. 
One more deep breath. And exhale. Woo! Nice work. Let's come back to center. I'm about to lose my shit. Let's take it to the other side. Back arm on top of the other hand. Drop it down and try to push those hips back to center. Ooh, there you go. Now you feel it even more. One more deep breath. Good job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead, take a seat. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and face me. Whew. We're gonna do a couple, we're gonna do the uh, dollar bill stretch. <laughs> I don't know why I call it the dollar bill stretch because you know that trick where you fold the dollar bill and then somehow it ends up on the other side? That's what this is. At least it is to me. Take your right leg out, left leg in tight. Sitting up nice and straight, you're gonna feel that inner thigh stretch. Maybe your hamstring is tight. You're gonna feel that stretch. If it's too much, just bring it forward and you can lean back, okay? And then you're just gonna open up and hold it here. Otherwise your hand can go here or on the inside of the leg. What you're really trying to do though, is open the chest so that you, so that you can look up at the ceiling with this, okay? So we're trying to elongate the body. We already stretched side body but I want you to get a little bit deeper by reaching, okay? We're not slouching, we're still keeping that chest open. So it's not about the stretch here, it's about the stretch up and towards the ceiling, okay? Ooh, I feel it. How we feeling? Our, thank you, my phone's about four pounds right now. <laughs> I know, right? That's when you know you did a good job. You try to lift something up. I know, I'm always like, after a workout, I pick up my dog and I'm like, oh my gosh, what did you eat? And then I was like, wait, I'm just really tired. That's probably what it is. Probably what it is. Nice job. So do you guys have any plans this weekend? Doing anything fun? Whew. Go ahead and bring that knee. Now you're gonna bring it over towards the other knee and flip that leg around, okay? You can move the foot. If you like to stack it here and get a good ankle stretch, you can do so right there couple options you're either here and you're like yeah I'm feeling it Sarah that's enough or you bring both hands back okay or you bring both elbows to the floor or you lay it all the way down okay so do what works for you release the head if you're lying down release your arms yeah I don't think me and Eddie are doing anything um, tonight I teach and then I'm gonna stick around and film a couple songs, and then I come home and eat a huge burger and fries. <laughs> and then Saturday, I actually do have a lot of work calls, probably from nine, literally nine to four o'clock. That's a lot, but it'll be fun. My friend Angie is coming over from like 12 to two, and then, so I'll have a little break of chill time. And then, oh I, I don't God. think we have any plans on Saturday. I was gonna try to make a steak, but I might save that for Sunday because I might be really tired on Saturday and I'll just say, okay, let's go out for margarita. <laughs> that could happen. All right, now to release or to get back up to the top, inhale first and then on your exhale, tighten your core, okay? So inhale, tighten your core and work your way up the same way you went down, okay? Are you at the top? Hopefully. Now that front knee, I want you to bend it towards you and you're gonna lean into that front knee and then kick that back leg out to, the, to behind you, okay? So now we're doing our third stretch and we're facing this way still. Well, I guess we swapped, kind of. And this is a pigeon pose. Now, if you struggle with this, maybe you're here. Maybe you just need to bring that leg in. You're gonna feel that stretch on the hip flexor. Yeah, a little bit, quadricep stretch. Otherwise, you're really trying to square your hips, square your shoulders, flex that front leg. If you wanna get it 90 degrees, that's a little bit more of a stretch in the glute. Elongate your body first on your inhale, grow taller, and then on your exhale, move forward into that stretch. This is your stretch though. Don't compare your stretch to my stretch. I've been doing these stretches for a long, long time and everybody's body is different. We talked about that the other day where I struggle with getting down into a, a 
a chair position squat and it's just because of where my hips are placed in my body but i can do the splits a little bit easier because of where my hips are placed in my body so sometimes flexibility has nothing to do with it okay so again never judge yourself holy glute all right plain air painting saturday oh that's fun plane is that p-l-a-n-e like airplane or plan air painting is that an actual term i'm not too familiar with some of your creative stuff creative <laughs> i need to learn though i wish i was more creative seriously i mean everybody's creative in their own way i, I feel all right so what are we doing now we're gonna lift it up and if you can we're just gonna open the hip and now face that way so open the hip and we're facing the other way remember how i talked about this dollar bill stretch now we're on the other side so that worked out right takes about two minutes per side maybe three depending on how much i talk but sit up nice and straight <sighs> shoulders are dropped and just open that chest now right arm is up reaching towards that left leg again you can stay here and open to the side that way okay or twist using that body or open it wider if you want a deeper inner thigh stretch Woo! and this side oh yeah it's a little bit tighter than my other side i will admit you want to make sure that both sit bones stay on the ground though oh there we go all right we're doing it we're doing the things guys i'm gonna come out of out of it out of a little bit just because i felt that in my back a little bit and I really wanna feel the back through, or the stretch through my side body. Woo, if you start to feel it pinch at all, just ease yourself out of it. Stretching should feel somewhat good and somewhat of a challenge, okay? Especially if you struggle with inflammation, you might notice you can't get down as far. I think that's what's up with me right now. I've had a little bit too many carbs lately. Carbs are not bad. But, and everything in moderation, right? Sometimes I didn't, I don't practice moderation though, I will admit. But I don't regret it. I wanted bagels this week, so every day I had a bagel. <laughs> and I loved it, so I'm not gonna complain. All right, so, bending that knee. Hopefully you got a deep enough stretch out of it. We're gonna bend that knee, bring it close, flip it around to the other side, so just move your body, adjust as needed. You can always stretch that ankle if you need to, otherwise you can leave it flat. Do what works for you, okay? Now remember, maybe you're here. Maybe you can do both arms. Maybe on location. Oh, fun! That's cool. All right, bring those elbows down. Is it like a fair that you're going to? Or like somebody had hired you to go to their house? Or is this graffiti that's illegal? <laughs> Hey, I love art, so I'm, I'm all for it. All right, really lean into it. And then, if you want to challenge yourself more, you just drop it all the way down and release that back. Woo! Yeah, this feels good. This is also a little painful. Man, I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I have so much snot. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but when I work out, when everything gets released. All the toxins are released. It feels so good. 32 piece around town icon of the city. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, have so much fun, creative. That's awesome that you get to do that. Well, enjoy every second, every minute of it. Hopefully it's nice weather where you're at so you get to enjoy that. Whew. I sell prints. Use calendars to raise funds for nonprofits. Oh, very cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know if Eddie can approve that, um, but it'd be so cool if you shared a link to some of your stuff. Feel free to, honestly. Or what I like to do is my in my free group, The Sweat Life with Coach Sarah, I'm all about collaboration. So if you want to share something like that in my group, you're more than welcome to share it. If you want to, no pressure, no pressure. But I always love having people support good people not looking forward to it tomorrow oh i'm sorry that's too bad oh well hopefully it's gonna be hopefully your day goes by fast that's a lot 32 pieces wow all right take an inhale on your exhale tighten your core 
that's how you protect your low back as you're lifting your body up you want to practice that when you're getting out of bed too okay bring that front leg straight leg bend it towards you lean towards that front knee now and kick that leg back behind you again listen to your body you might end up here and you're like yeah i feel it stay there otherwise straighten that back leg more and then try to stack your shoulders over those hips square your body so it's facing forward and your back toe points backwards flex that foot in front to protect your knee take an inhale and on your exhale inch your way forward and just chill here for a little bit nice job today you guys Woo! I felt it today Again, it was a challenge, but I'm so glad that you showed up. You decided to show up. That's what matters. Like you're here with me right now. Whether you did one move or you did all the moves, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for taking the time to be here. Again, Monday through Friday, we'll have workouts unless I'm traveling or I've got something coming up. But most days, join here around 1230-ish and then we'll get started by 1240. And yeah, we usually have a good time. I mean, it's hard work, but seriously, you're so you should be so proud of yourself for showing up. I know I'm I'm proud of you. Seriously. Alright, let's lift it up. Oh nice work. Let's go ahead and take a seat. You can cross your legs however you want. And then when we switch arms, we'll switch legs, okay? So whether you cross your legs or maybe you stack your feet, I do like to do the stretch because it stretches my glutes a little bit more. And they tend to be super tight. So Cross your right arm over for that shoulder stretch. Nice job. And since I've got my hit the floor later, that class is about 30 minutes of squats and lunges. <laughs> and then we go into core work and stretching. But seriously, the whole entire class, we're hitting the floor and we're in a front lunge, side lunge, squat, deadlift position. We're doing a lot. We're doing a lot of leg work, so when it, whenever I can get a good glute stretch in, I will take advantage of it. All right, take the arm up, tricep stretch. Woo! Just stretching it. Keep your chin off of your chest. You can move to the side if you want a little bit of a side bend. See what works for you. All right. I never skip the stretching intentionally, but most days I lack the strength to stand. Hey, that's why it's good we're we're sitting today, right, creative? Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I'm just gonna do the stretch from the floor because I need to, honestly. <laughs> so, I hear you. I hear you on that one, for sure. Breathe into it. Nice job. All right, bring it down. Go ahead and switch that leg. Whichever one was on top, switch the other side or bring those heels and knees together. Sit up nice and tall. Take your other arm, left arm, bringing it down away from your chin and just pulling it here. <sighs> it's another beautiful day here. I hope it's this type of weather next week. We have our fair week next week. And if you've ever seen Back to the Future, that is exactly what our town looks like. There's a big white courthouse in the center of town. And then there's the side street with little businesses. It's very much just a Back to the Future um, small town, seriously. So, and I always look forward to the fair. Um, it's packed. It's like, I don't know where all these people come from. Our, our fair or our town is 12,000 people, maybe 13,000, but still pretty small in comparison to a lot of cities. <laughs> Take your right arm up or left arm up. Make sure your chin is off your chest. I think I tried to say town and cities at the same time. It's fine. Nobody clip that. Nobody do it. All right, pull that elbow, feel that stretch. Yeah, fair week is so much fun though. Me and Eddie walk downtown. It's just like a mile down, it's like, or 0.8 miles, I won't give myself credit. It's 0.8 there, 0.8 back. So we get like a good mile and a half in and we walk down, grab two donuts each, eat it, walk back. Sometimes we'll eat one and then save the other one for a good coffee or we'll make coffee, drink it on the way down and get a donut. I always love it, I look forward to it. So we'll probably do that next week from like 9 to nine to 10 each morning. It'll be our nice little, nice little walk. I hope Eddie's down for that. I'm sure he will be. I always enjoy it. Oh. 
Nice job, you guys. A little bend if you want. Get that stretch in there. And let's go ahead and sit up straight. Take those arms, or I'm sorry, legs straight out. Sit up nice and tall. Open your chest. And you can give me a little stretch in the chest and drop your chin or drop your head to the one side. And try to imagine lifting your chin as you drop down. Keeping your shoulders dropped. Maybe you can even just reach down back behind you. You're gonna feel that stretch a little deeper on one side. Or you can interlace your fingertips behind you. Move that out of the way. So you got nice and tall, flexing those feet, giving me a good calf stretch. I know I feel it there. All right, come back to center, roll it out. Woo, that one side feels a lot, right? Okay, shoulders back and down, reach back, sit up straight and drop your ear towards that shoulder. Shoulders stay dropped away from your ears. Chin points up slightly. Get a good stretch in the side of that neck through the shoulder. Oh, I needed this one. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm giving you a longer stretch, but that's because I know you worked so hard today and I'm not gonna see you for two days. So I want you to make sure that you get stretched out. You might be more sore. No, you will be more sore if you do not stretch after a good workout, okay? And we're almost there. All right, come back to center, shake it out. Last stretch, cross your fingers, round your spine, drop your chin towards your chest, pull your fingers like you feel that upper back stretch. You're pulling those shoulder blades apart. On your next inhale, sit up straight. Arms up overhead and exhale, arms back. Wide cactus arms all the way down. Nice job, we're gonna do that one more time. Take those hands and move the finger one over. So it's, it's not your normal way of crossing your hands, okay? Should feel weird, I know. Drop your chin, round your shoulders, pull those fingers apart. Pull, pull, pull. Feel the upper back stretch. Chin is dropped. On your next inhale, take an inhale up. Arms up. Woo, and exhale. Woo, yawn if you want. Oh, it feels so good. All right. We freaking did it, guys. We freaking